Metro. Now, if you've never been to another country or to a big city where they have a metro, it's basically a subway. You walk on the ground and you enter into this intricate network of concrete tunnels. And as I'm walking, I was there with my grandparents, as I was walking down through the tunnels, I could hear the echoing of everyone's footsteps, but I also started to hear music. It was classical music. I'm not really sure which type, but I knew for sure it was classical. And as I'm walking, I hear the notes bouncing through the tunnels, and I'm wondering, where does this come from? I'm looking around, there's no wires or speakers for it to be coming from the surround system. As we keep walking, we come to this large room, and it's the biggest area we've come to in the entire subway system. There's a cafe and a shop in there, and opposite of these shops is a niche inside the, inside the room. And inside this niche are these people, just like every day, all the rest of the Parisians that were there, but there was one difference. They all had an instrument. They were the people playing the music. This wasn't a couple of people. This was a 15-piece orchestra. There were trumpets and wind instruments. Any that you would find in a regular orchestra, just smaller. And they were playing this music, and they had their bags sitting out in front of them, same as you would find the people playing in Nashville just trying to make it big. These people were doing this as their living. They would come down every day, pay for one ticket, and spend the day playing for the people in the tunnel system, taking the trains to work. So we pass by these, this orchestra and we move on onto the trains. While we're on the train, this person gets on and pushes a button that was concealed in their bag and music starts playing. Out of their bag, they pull out a microphone and just start singing on the train. When the song finishes, they start passing out a little cup, the same as you would find someone begging for money, but they had performed for the people on the train instead. What I learned from my Nana that day was that people will buy the tickets, musicians will buy tickets, and spend the whole day getting on and off trains, uh, performing and collecting tips. They you will find instruments such as accordion players, saxophone players, singers, drummers, and gypsies that perform music, uh, perform music singing and dancing in the small areas of the train. One of the things is if you approach one of these musicians and you get a chance to talk with them if they speak English, you'll notice that they will tell you about the best and the worst of humanity. Every day they spend their days trying to entertain people, trying to do something that they love, but nobody will notice. Sometimes they get a few people who will give them a couple euros, maybe just stop and listen for a bit, but most people will avoid them. They'll make sure that they don't make eye contact with any of them because they don't want to give them any money. They treat these people who are just like you or I, like the beggars that are on the streets that are faking illness in order to get them free money. So if you ever get the chance and you see someone just doing what they love, 